Hello, I am John Sterrett, and I am a group principal with Linchpin People. In this tip, I'm going to show you how you can use regular expressions inside of Management Studio to take a huge list of unique identifiers and load them into a table variable. Typically, when I'm working with business users, I will get a similar list to what we see on the screen. If you are familiar with T-SQL, you will notice that this is just a list of IDs and is not valid T-SQL syntax. Utilizing regular expressions, we can quickly convert this list into valid T-SQL syntax regardless of the amount of IDs that is provided by the business users. Let's take a look at find and replace tool that's included inside a management studio by holding control and the F key. Most people will never click on the find options button down here in the menu. If you do so, you will notice that there is an option called use and by default you can select regular expressions. So why is this important to us? This is helpful because now we can actually select the beginning of the line and the ending of the line and replace these characters with valid T-SQL to build our select clauses that we would then use in order to populate our table variable. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and click on the caret key here to identify the beginning of a line. So now when we go over to quick replace, we can now change the beginning of the line to now have select quote. So we're gonna go ahead and do a replace all. And we can see that we have 400 lines here that we were able to modify. We're gonna do something similar. Now we're gonna go ahead and select the end of the line, which will be the dollar symbol. We're gonna go ahead and close our quote and then add union. And we're gonna go ahead and do replace all again. So now you can see we actually have 401 occurrences where we were replaced. So you want to go ahead and double check because you might find something similar to this, where the end of line and beginning of line end up being merged together. We could go ahead and replace this by go ahead and copying that and putting it in what we want to find. And we're going to go ahead and replace it with the select with the beginning quote. So if we go ahead and scroll all the way to the end, you'll notice that we have an extra union at the end. Not a big deal. We could simply just go ahead and end up deleting this. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my code snippet to create the table variable, and then also to go ahead and select it here at the bottom. So here you can see we're selecting it, and at the very top here I'm going to declare it, and then I'm going to insert into it using the select statements that we just created utilizing regular expressions. So now that we ran it, you can see here that we have a table variable and we're selecting all the data in set based logic that we can then now use to go ahead and join across other tables.